do one thing. I was thinking, well, if I try to make a really tight path, is this thing gonna just ditch and fall over? All right, folks, welcome back to Big Man's World of Wonders. Okay, welcome back to the show today. Today, we're gonna check out this Andor camera dolly. It's a really nifty, cool little gadget. I guess we'd call this a gadget. It's a little motorized dolly. You can put your camera on it. That's why I have these cameras over here. And you can put the camera on it and you can make it move straight or in a circular pattern. Let's get into it. This is about a $100 item. It was bought on Amazon. You can check the links below. Pick one up. It seems very cool cool so here we go we did take it out to charge it but that's all we did a little foam yeah look look at it can you see it it's chinese it did get good reviews so hopeful about it it's got remote control it's supposed to hold up to 6.6 pounds of load so that's why we have this canon it's a 6d kind of a heavy camera we have a larger zoom lens as well as a smaller lens see how it handles that and we have this gopro our gopro has the creator's handle which has a battery give it a little more heft and we forgot to charge the gopro so perfect we have two in one so let's see what we have here well okay this will be all right okay so here it is this is an extra wheel and a wrench little hex wrench we've got a remote control this kit that we bought you can get it in different versions it can come with a fully articulating mount here is what's in the box there it is you're like whoa that's weird yep it is so here we go Here's the main unit. They've got it with one of the legs down. When they ship it to you, you see one is to the right angle, probably just to save space in the box. But basically these legs can fold out and they can fold back in. So when you're carrying it, it actually is fairly compact. You can see it easily fits in my hand, right? So that's pretty compact of a device. We don't have any of the mounts on it, but that's not gonna add a lot of heft. So let's go continue on. Here's another mount. You have multiple sizes depending on what size mount you need. We're gonna move this box out of the way. Let's open the remote control. I did pull the little tab. There was a little plastic tab on here that uh, for the battery you're just gonna pull it out from the back so that the battery doesn't get drained while it's in shipping here's our ball mount fully articulating ball mount I'll try to get this out of here I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty okay so here it is fully articulating ball mount also by Andor it's got this nice little quick lock system it looks like it's pretty sturdy actually great okay so we're say well let's use it we've got three wheels we're gonna start by making Making this thing go straight so as you can see you have little gradations of angle so if you were to put them let's say like this well very obviously it's gonna go in a circular pattern like this so I'll show you here from the overhead if we put the legs let's start with them straight so there's straight right so you got straight so there if we roll it on it on the table it's obviously gonna go straight pretty straight if we have these straight if we articulate these so that they're, let's say, at the 45 mark, and we'll make them the same. So now we have 45 on both sides. You'll see, if we put it on the table, it's obviously gonna go in a round fashion. So, now that we've spoiled it, let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna put these back straight. That looks pretty straight. I don't know if this is a science here, or it's just approximate, probably. Here, we're gonna take, we have this articulating mount here, which needs to screw into something. I think it's gonna be this this so we'll put this mount into the body you do have multiple sizes on the body you can put different sizes directly in there's lots of different configurations you can do it's just really up to you there is a little uh, threaded thing here I'm trying to get it with my hand let's see it looks like I'm missing something here folks let's see what I'm missing this is gonna go here for sure okay let's put that down a little give us a little more room on the big threads it seemed like we weren't catching so what I'm doing is I'm loosening this a little. I'm going to rotate the wheel a little bit and then I'm going to rotate this down hoping to expose more threads. So here we go. See if I can get it to catch now. Seems like it should catch here. Am I doing something? Oh, I think I just didn't give it a little push. I just really needed to give it a little push I believe and it kind of
kind of popped and now it threaded right in. So there it is. It's tight. It's in there good. I already put this one on. I can undo the red. Let's go ahead and make sure that this head is now firmly on here. Oh, so this is a rotating head. So I can't do it while it's unlocked. So I really want to make sure I'm going to lock that. Now I'm going to check it. And there, now that's nice, all nice and tight on there. Perfect. Okay, so I think what we're going to do first is we're going to start with the GoPro. A little bit lighter. Let's just do an initial test. So here we go. I'm going to thread this on to the GoPro. I was going to. Here, let me screw that down again same story let's screw this on to the mount we'll secure it up by raising this back up to where it meets and tighten it so that this is consistent and now we can use this ball head to adjust what our angle is i'm gonna see how that goes so we have full movement so i'm gonna go ahead and put it here i'm gonna angle it I'm gonna angle it about there i think and then i also have the ability tightening this one up here up down below and then it's a GoPro so I can always get my final angle let's say like that uh, I have my little strap I'm gonna just put it up here so it doesn't get in anybody's way now theoretically you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and start the uh, the camera just because it's kind of interesting now I feel like I'm a little bit tilted so I'm gonna loosen the bottom ball joint I'll readjust this slightly tighten it back down so it looks a little bit more straight to me I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the camera let's see does this always happen to y'all it's updating does your gopro always update when you're ready to use it mine always does there's always some this says updating volta in case you don't know volta is this handle it's part of the creator's kit it's really cool it has little legs so it can be a tripod as you see down here you put out the two legs it's a battery handle so you get a lot of extended like our gopro we forgot to charge it but the volta it's a little got a little weight to it but it's a it's a full battery has tripod mount there it's got a gopro mount on the side which actually collapses into the handle when you're not using it it's pretty pretty nifty as well it's a little pricey for the kit but it not only has this i think we have the other pieces over to the side but it has a whole frame that goes around the gopro so you have a mic and audio inputs and stuff okay so let's give this a try i'm gonna turn the gopro on you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move this thing back just a little bit like that and i'm gonna take my little plant here my skull plant let's put him right there and then let's turn on the GoPro I'm gonna angle this guy down just a little bit I could do it here I could also do it with the other thing let me do the red control down here red lever a little bit close to this thing I have a little bit I should take it off the handle but as I said we were battery is kind of weak so we're gonna leave it on the handle so there it is it's in the GoPro all right so I'm gonna turn it on over here on the side here got the trusty remote control ready to go you'll see you just have a play pause button you know start and pause this semicircle arrow this changes the direction and then the plus minus is going to speed it up and slow it down so let's give it a go let's see how it works here we go play whoa look it's going okay i'm gonna let it get over here and let's go ahead and change directions that's pretty cool i don't know about you guys but i think it's pretty cool is it making a sound is it making like a little squishy squishy sound can you guys hear that yeah i wonder if that's going to be an issue you know if you're filming if you have audio and you're going to have this little motorized sound let's try a little fast Ooh, it changed directions on me let's try the speed so it's going i was on the fastest it looks like let's reverse we're going a little faster so it's not that fast but it's not that slow and you'll see it's kind of not staying on the the straight which probably means that i have to adjust the legs they must be a little bit this way because that's why we're getting that different pattern but let's go ahead and try real quick i want to try putting the legs in a pattern that's more let's say this direction and then let's put this back in the middle and then let's try this way i think i'm going to do a little less of an angle now i am going against the marking so maybe i'm really supposed to turn this around but it would seem that this weight over here 
here would be important but let's try it this way oh very very close so with that kind of pattern whoa wrong way guy come back come back so now this is a little aggressive so i should for where i'm trying to get if i put them out a little more and i try it again that was more the look i was looking for so it pan around and then here i'm going to go back around this way and it's going to go all the way around and that looks like a pretty cool arc right there see now what i'm going to do here let's pause it no it's actually didn't like that pause but let's pause it in the middle again and what about okay let's put it a little more again and then let us do this let us put this guy closer and we'll angle this down just a little bit i'll just do it manual gopro style and then we'll put these a little more and see now we can get oh see now that's going to be a little bit tight but let's imagine this this is getting kind of interesting what if we just want to do this guy here okay so now we have the camera let's go find the center of our our little circle i think that's about the center of our circle now and that's going to probably make some cool footage i would think now here i'm going to pause it i can't see the screen let's see what we're recording see we're not quite in frame so we want to definitely adjust that now if we did that and now we do it we'll get some sort of something yeah i think it's cool i think it'll put up some cool footage like that so anyway point being here we can slow down a little don't go so fast kind of neat right do we think it's kind of neat i think it's kind of neat okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another test let us go ahead and i don't know if i I really recorded anything on here but we'll see so anyway let's go ahead and let's see if it can take the weight of the dslr that's really going to be interesting for me because this is still a very lightweight device and it might just handle it fine and maybe if we tried to really put this thing under a little bit of, of stress is it really going to do it that's my question and we're about to find out so let's put this over here let's take this big bad daddy and we're gonna whoops see if we can do this without hurting anybody it's probably a better way i think i'll tighten this a little and then use this little thing instead of twirling my camera right i think that's probably better so in theory it wants us to be the opposite direction which would be this way now did i actually do it the way i wanted or did i loosen the wrong thing no this thing moves so that's all good so yes the answer is yes it physically can support it this 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 ball joint adapter if you can see See that seems very strong i really like that that adapter itself because it doesn't take much and i can lock this thing in just that easy now it looks like i am also kind of unthreading the bottom so i'm going to tighten that up a little i do feel a little bit of play in the bottom i'm thinking that even though this wrench i don't know exactly why they gave it to us but maybe that's just just the reason so what i'm going to try to do because i didn't really tighten the bottom part too well and I feel like it's a little wobbly but if you'll notice there's a hole right here and I think if we put this in here it just loosely goes in but I think it's going to let us tighten up this connection here because I think that that's where I'm feeling the movement now as you see it just wanted to fall over because the lens so again what we have to do on this is we have to counterbalance everything as you see it's going to the other side now and we have to turn it back this way so that the weight of the lens is supported by the dolly and here i'm angling it down a little bit on purpose just to see how it does but here I'll, let's go straight and there it is look it's holding it so now the question is does it travel well <laughs> that's the question with everybody let's move all this stuff kind of out of our way so we can give you a nice little demo and here we go and yes it seems to without issue now it did seem to immediately make a little bit of a of an arc so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to see if i can straighten that leg just a little bit and let's try it again whoops i did a pause i still feel like it's it's wanting to go at an angle Whoop, rewind i haven't learned how to use the remote so yeah i think with a little bit of tweaking of the wheels it's doing a fairly straight path now i think if i really wanted i could probably tweak it some more it definitely makes a squealing sound audible through the microphone you guys i'm sure can hear it i don't know if that's an issue it would depend on what you're doing with it and what the footage you're shooting if you were trying to shoot video and audio like we are you can hear that sound because 
because yeah because of that here look i slowed it down a notch keep forgetting to show you that there pretty cool i think it's pretty cool i think at 85 dollars, it's really cool i'm gonna go ahead and pause i'm gonna bring it back let's try a little slight angle on it and see how that works out for us and yeah i think that's a good shot right i think that Don't could help get some nice the shots subscribe it's button. not an expensive thing but it seems to work this is not a light camera it's a fairly weighty camera and it's just chugging right along i don't think it's having any problem right what do you guys think i think it's cool so please subscribe to our channel please like our channel please follow us we're gonna have lots of neat gadgets like this one we're gonna have lots of nice gadgets we're gonna have lots of cool things to show you you don't want to miss out on this i don't think you want to miss out and 85 dollars you can buy it on amazon at the link below and or mini dolly it folds up it has rechargeable batteries i forgot to tell you they say it'll last six hours i haven't really tried it that much just trying it now right but it seems to be doing a pretty cool job i think it's cool i think you'll think it's cool there's some lights and stuff here okay you know i want to do one thing i was thinking well if i try to make a really tight path is this thing gonna just ditch and fall over so let's give it a go let's give it i'm gonna put what they're showing is 45 degrees on each leg it's all in frame for you all so you can see the magic and let's try it and there it is it's not falling it's not tipping it's seems to be handling it just just fine let's see it's gonna go over a little thing and uh yeah it's it's doing it here we're going a little faster now try it again yeah that's top speed not real fast but not too bad and again if you had something like this right here i don't know seems a little bit hard to find the center that's the only thing i'm i'm thinking is like the center's kind of a random place with this thing maybe i just don't know how to adjust it yet but there's definitely going to be a trick to to getting this thing to do a path that works for you i wonder you know if you do one and the other i don't know i don't know the magic yet but i know it's cool and for 85 bucks i would buy it i did buy it but i would buy it again i think it's really cool here's the let me show you what's on the side of it i'm gonna pop this camera off here real quick give you one last look at it and uh let's see come on come on baby okay there we go set the camera down here it is ball joint speed control up and down usb charging on off switch it's very basic look watch fold it in that's it it's pretty darn compact thing is very compact and if you didn't need an articulating mount if you just wanted to put your your gopro straight on it watch this i'm going to show you guys real quick no i'm not but you could put your gopro on it and you can make it very low profile look at how small this is you could easily carry this in a bag it's very low profile without the ball mount and you can just keep the ball mount separate bam just like that and or go get it thanks for watching this episode hey if there's something you'd love to see on this show leave us a comment below